Right guys, so as you just saw by that, we've just got a brand new build for the channel. It's a LCI E92 325i. I really wanted the M3, but I can't find one. And I think instead of just jumping straight to the M3, I'll make my way up. Um, I've got big plans for this build, so stay tuned guys. If you want to continue to watch how this build unfolds, remember if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. Right, so let's check out the car. So immediately, the first thing you can tell is this beautiful red interior. That's the first thing that drew me to it. Um, and I posted this, a picture of the interior on my Instagram. A lot of you guys are really, really feeling the red interior as well. And then it's got the sat-nav, but I can tell that it's got this, the business sat-nav instead of the professional because of the size of the screen. So that's the first thing. One of the things that I will be upgrading is the sat-nav and putting a professional sat-nav in there. But other to that, everything else is in pretty good condition. Um, let's go around the car. This time around, I want to really take my time and show you guys all the damage. So the main impact was to the front of the car right here. It's completely smashed in the front. Boom, right there. And it's completely taken off the <laughs> lettering off this 4D license plate. But have a look at that. It's completely smashed my red, so I know I need to get a red pack. It's complete, look at the size of that. It's completely warped the front panel. So I need to buy a front slam panel. Um, also a uh, rad pack, so hopefully I can find those two together. It's a six cylinder, straight six cylinder, so that should sound really nice once we get it started up. Obviously, complete front bumper. This headlight looks like it's okay. Looks like I can salvage that one. So hopefully my fingers are crossed. But have a look at this one, guys. Take a look at this headlight. <laughs> it's completely, completely in bits. Everything is completely smashed on it. So I'm gonna have to buy a new headlight right there bumper as well it's completely smashed as is the bonnet so the bonnet you can tell it's hit some sort of a pole or something like that i really like this carbon fiber badge so i'll be holding on to that and the driver side wing so this is the driving side and if you looked it's, someone's upgraded to these led kind of side steps I really like the look of those. But if you look in here, you can see more suspension damage. I will be sorting that out so the car can move, but later on, I will be moving to completely change that out. It's got some dents and scratches on the door, so we'll have to repair that at a later date. And someone has gone ahead and stolen the mirror covers. Moving around. This panel is a little bit dirty, however, it doesn't seem to be too damaged. And it's the LCI, so it's got the LCI headlights and the LCI rear lights. It's got a crack in the rear bumper. I'll be sorting that as well. And guys, check this out. So one of the key things is this car comes with that private plate. So that's two private plates that I've gotten now off Copart. Um, I don't know, should I keep this private plate or should I put it back to normal? I've got my own personal private plate as well. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this car yet, so I might change, I might change it or I might not. I don't know, let me know what you should do. It's got the twin is also on this side, but that's one of the things I wanna upgrade as well. Give it a much better sound. On the rear end, it comes with this really nice carbon fiber lip. Have a look at that. This car is such a, it's a really nice design. On this side, you've got no damage whatsoever, other than someone stealing this. Now from a distance, this looks okay, but look, these are complete, these are plastic. The wings on the E90 series are plastic, so 
I need to replace this wing as well. So basically the front end, guys. Back on the interior, it looks like the only thing that's gone off is the driving side airbag. But guys, have a look at this. It's the automatic and it's got the upgraded. These are the updated um, LCI flappy paddles. So I'm really happy about that. But another thing that's gone off is my driving side seatbelt pretensioner. And I can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that all the way down in there, but I can see that that's gone off. And the passenger one is nice and loose. So that's not gone off as yet. However, look at this one. It's not even moving. That's gone off. You've got this little phone dock. I never really used to use them, but it's got the aux in and it's got um, the USB slot as well. So I'm happy about that. On the rear, all the seats in the rear have been completely dug up. So I don't know what's going on there. And these are just some more broken bits from the front end that's there. And clearly someone's had a coffee. This one is broken. This is the, this is a common issue on these three series. So at a later date, I'll be opening these up. There's a fix. When it's really sluggish like this, there's a way you can fix them. So I'm gonna be showing that at a later video. But first I wanna to try to get the car running and that's where it gets interesting. Okay guys, so I'm happy with the damage. Everything looks great on the outside. Everything looks great on the inside. It's kind of what I expected. However, what I didn't expect was the car has no key. Yes, the car has no key. Copart said the car had the key and it was coming with a key. Um, when the car was delivered, I asked the delivery guy for the key and he told me that it didn't come with a key. So I've been back and forth with Copart and they're pretty useless to be honest. They're pretty useless. You know, they've got it in the small print, it's sold as seen and they're not willing to help even though the auction said it comes with a key. So um, I've given Icon Car Keys, a company called Icon Car Keys in Leighton a call and they'll be coming out and trying to give me a new key on this car. So I feel good, but I don't feel good. And this has been a trend recently with all my cars um, from Copart. It always comes and you know, you find that one thing or another. This is the third BMW, the third vehicle on the channel that has come and it doesn't start or it's, uh, it's just getting a bit tiring. However, that's all is love in this game of repairing cars. So I guess it's just a bit more work for us here at um, Salvage Nation, but you know, that's what we do guys. That's what we do. So I'm literally just waiting for the guy from Icon Car Keys to come. Hopefully I can get the car up and running. But in the meantime, whilst I'm waiting for him, I want to try to pop that suspension arm back in so the car can roll and move around. Um, hopefully by the time he gets here, starts the key and then we can get it out of here. So let's crack on with that. So what I've noticed is, if you have a look here, this is the ball joint for the um, for this control arm. And if you look here, you can still see the bottom of the ball joint right around there. It's still connected. So I'm hoping that I can just pop that in and just for the purposes of moving the car around, I can get that to work until I order one of these bad boys and they come in the post. So I've got my jack. I'm gonna jack it all up and see if I can position it in place and then I'll pop it back in. So let's get on with that. Hopefully that holds whilst we move the car around. Now that we sorted the suspension, I want to try to take this light out because I still need these little modules and modules underneath. And it was working yesterday when the car came. So I want to try to take it out.
<laughs> wow. Guys, look what is left of this headlight. Now the headlight is in bits. However, all of these modules underneath are good. And I don't want any water to get into them. So I'm going to take them off and put them into safe storage. Have a look at that. Bloody hell, here's one more module at the back there. Surprisingly, this looks okay. This is the nozzle that squirts out the water. And that's all I'm going to remove for today on this side. This is actually, I'll take this off as well. Guys, it looks like a complete mess now, but I guarantee in a few weeks we're going to have this looking like some special. So the spec on this car looks pretty good. It's got the power folding mirrors, but everything's switched off. But I know that this button is to open and unfold those mirrors. It's got the auto headlights and it's got the auto um, wipers. So with all of that done, guys, one more thing I want to do. I'm just trying to do whatever I can do whilst I wait. I think I might as well try to go ahead and remove this because it's getting in the way. So you literally just push that through. And I've, I've shown this on many times, so I'll just do it quickly. So that's one side out. And because the steering is locked, it's not a lot I can do, but just feel, there it is. Feel for the hole. Bit fidgety this one, because it's upside down. Always a bit fidgety. The last one is always a little bit there you go. So I've messed around with both of them. And what I'll do right now is just take my time to open up these two little clips. So because I think it's best if I twist it, I haven't got a lot of space to maneuver. There you go. So you can see the two little openings at the top of the clips. That's one clip. That's two clips, one and two. And there we go. That one is no more. Now I always like to check out my steering wheel and it can tell you just how much mileage is on the car, how well it was looked after, how rough it was driven. And have a look at that, it's in pretty good condition. All the lever on the side is in pretty good nick, but I'm really excited about these. I had a 2007 325i before, ages ago, and it had the original style um, flappy pedals, and I had to upgrade them to this, and it's a, it's a, it's a big bunch of fluff <laughs> to, to get it all done. But this is the LCI, and just have a look at that, guys. It's all in very good condition. So I'm really hoping that this car starts and runs and everything's fine. I'm thinking about a remap, guys. So if you know any remap places or if you know any chip tunes, but instead of a chip tune, I prefer a remap. Um, I want to do a remap, induction, and an exhaust. Those are my three main things for the um, the power displacement. Uh, I want a nice exhaust to give me a nice throaty sound. Um, I want the induction so the engine breathes a bit better. Um, and yeah, and the remap to just make it a lot more efficient and just get a bigger bang for my buck. And that's the plan for this car, guys. As to the aesthetics, I want to do a front lip, a rear lip. Um, I've got the boot lip already. I want to do a diffuser at the rear. And I'm considering, have a look at this. I was toying with the idea of getting a custom made exhaust and having the double output. So I'd have to change this one to the one that's got the two and getting both. So yeah, I might take it down to a local exhaust place um, company and get a custom made one done. <sighs> so big plans for this build guys, big plans. All right, I'm gonna leave it there and I'll check in with you guys once the guys from Iconic Keys come down and hopefully I've got good news. So let's go.
Now have a look at this guys, this alloy is completely broken and I can see it's completely broken on the inside. So I need to replace this alloy, but I was just thinking, I might as well replace all of the alloys because for this style of car, I always felt like these are quite small. These are a set of 18 inch alloys and there's the standard ones and I don't really like them. I want to upgrade them to something, maybe like no higher than 19s and maybe the offset. I want to get maybe put some spacers or get some alloys with a deeper offset so that they fill out the gap a little bit better. If anyone has got any ideas or any suggestions for a decent set of alloys, type and make. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I know a lot of people with this style of BMW go for the BBS um, style of alloys, but I'm not really a big fan of the BBS style. So um, yeah, I'm, I'll be in the market at some point for a set of alloys for this car. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below, guys. But also let me know what you think of the car so far. And looking around the car, a lot of the little kind of mods and little bits that I wanted to do um, when I was thinking to buy this car, the whoever had this car before has already gone ahead and done it. Have a look. They've already upgraded these ones to LED and they're, they're the step types, so I quite like them. Um, they've added all of these little bits and bobs like that. All of the badges have been swapped out for the black carbon type badges. However, what I will do is I will be swapping out this start button for a red start button and I think that will match with the red interior and it will look quite nice. I know on the M cars you can swap out this button for a red M button but on this model that's just to change the CDs so <laughs> there's no point in doing that. But yeah, if you've got any other mods or if you can suggest anything else that we can do to this car, guys, this is going to be a project car for this channel and we're going to be repairing it. And once we're repairing it, this is the car that we will be modding. I had this initial thought with my one series, which is just there, but I decided I'm not going to mod that. I'm just going to get it back to standard, sell that one and get something with a bit more power and on the petrol platform that I can keep for a longer period and I can really, really get some good mods going with it, get a better sound, and yeah, I want to get some good horsepower out of this car. So I'm excited, guys. As long as the car starts. <laughs> as long as Icon Keys can come down and get the job done for us. So I'll let you know then. Two hours later. So the guys at Icon Car Keys, guys, just made me a replacement fob key for the car. He ended up having to take the engine ECU, the car access system which is in there and take it back to his shop so i've got my key he's just showed it to me working however the car is not starting because i need to sort out this blow off valve that comes off so i'll sort that out and then hopefully we can get a first start <sighs> guys let's see if the car starts we've been here before and you're gonna find out with me if everything is all right with this car. So let's see. So yeah, let me, I'll stick the camera on the time-lapse. I'll sort out the battery blow off and then I'll test my car and see if it works. Um, but we've tested and see that the key is working. I can see that, I can hear it, but the key is definitely working. Um, have a look. How cool is these little side repeaters? Yeah, so let's do that. battery discharge it's come up with that airbags are gone that's fine turn off that music for now so the system seems to be working AC is coming on here goes nothing guys oh yep oh my <laughs> 
<laughs> yes! Woo! Guys, how many times have we been here? Oh my god, it starts. Yes, now I can get excited. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh. So, I'm not going to run it for too long. My coolant is gone because the rads are broken. But, have a listen to that, guys. Oh, yes. Let's go check it out. LCI 325 six cylinder. I want to check out the mileage. Oh my God, 41,966. Guys, that is peanuts, that is nothing. No wonder the car's in such good condition. So I'm getting some light smoking from down in the back. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to find out just yet. So I'm going to switch it all off, guys. And hopefully it's nothing too major. Um, I want to get this car parked up in my unit and get home. Oh shit. I see oil. Have a look at that, guys. That is not good. That is all the engine oil coming out. Fuck. I can't run the engine with no oil. As soon as it started, we got all the oil coming out. I've jacked it up and I've looked. If you can see there, I've got some broken pipes. I'm hoping that it's just some broken pipes and I hope it's not a problem with the engine block or a hole in the block or anything. I can't see anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just, now that I can unlock it, I'll get my friends to come and help me tow it into my unit because I don't want to ruin, risk ruining the engine. Tow it into my unit and then I'll investigate once I can tear the engine down a bit more. So I'll catch him with you once I get it in my unit. Right, so guys, I'm finally, finally heading home. It's been a very long day, but Good news and a little bit of bad news. So the good news, as you saw, the, the car starts, the engine sounds really smooth, really nice. It sounds like, I love the six cylinder sound on the 325s and the 330 engines. It sounds amazing. But um, like you saw, as soon as the engine started and everything started to work, I reckon that's the first time it's probably started since the accident because I had to bridge the, um, the battery blow off. So that's probably the first time since it started since the accident and to be fair, I really need to do some more investigations. I'm happy to know that the engine starts and it turns over. Um, however, I'm a bit concerned about the level of oil that, that came out. Um, it's still holding a bit of oil inside. The, the, the levels inside are still saying that um, the oil level is okay. However, there's, there's quite a lot of oil that came out on the floor. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold off from starting the car until I get to the bottom of why that oil is leaking out, which means that I need to dig in. So I need to tear down all of the front, um, the front end, tear down all the damage and do a proper, proper look about and see exactly what's going on. So guys, if you wanna see that and you're watching this and you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel now. Guys, click the subscribe button now and make sure that your bell notifications are on because you will not wanna miss this one. Like I said, I really wanted to mod the um, my white BMW 118 diesel and if you haven't seen any of those builds I'll put the card up above or you can go to my channel and check out my playlist all of my builds are in the playlist but if you haven't seen that build guys that build was really really good really fun and the last video on that is going to come out pretty soon so you won't want to miss that either um, and this is a new build and after this one the, the plan for this car now the E92 is it's it's what I like, it's what I wanted and I'm going to hold on to this for a while. I'm going to get it back to standard and once it's back to standard, I'm going to put some mods, both um, visually and performance mods are going to go on to the 325. And I really want to get this car sounding and looking the part of, you know, a real, real, real powerhouse. Got my brand new key for the 325 and I've also got my brand new jet tag. And if you want to get one of these jet tags, guys, head on over to Shop Salvage Nation, where you can pick up one of these jet tags, one of these Salvage Nation jackets, champion jackets, by the way, and any more of my merch. And remember, all the proceeds from my merch shop, guys, goes right back into this channel. Um, so if you want to support the channel in any way, head on over to Shop Salvage Nation, 
pick up some merch. So that's the plan for the 325. I'm gonna sell the one series. So if you wanna buy the one series, let me know. And I'm gonna sell, obviously the A3 is still up for sale. I'm just waiting to get the ABS pump on that reprogrammed. I've managed to find the correct ABS pump for that. I hope that you enjoyed the content today, guys. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up because it let YouTube know that you like my content. And the more thumbs ups that I get, then the more my content gets pushed and I really, really appreciate it, guys. And for all my OG subscribers, and if you've already smashed that subscribe button, I thank you. But I just can't, I'm very excited about where my channel can go. And I would like for each and every one of you to be there with me for the journey. Um, we can do some amazing things, guys. We can do some amazing things. How many times am I gonna buy a car that doesn't start or it doesn't work or, you know, but here we are. It works, it starts. I need to get to the bottom of a few issues on it. I'm in the market for a front end, basically. So I need front panel, front driver side headlight, front um, bumper, and I need a bonnet. All of them need to be the LCI. If you guys know anyone, or if any of you are breaking that car, or if any of you've got any of those parts, do let me know. Or if you've got anywhere I can get them from, if you can point me in the right direction in the comments down below, I will be keeping a keen eye on the comments, guys. Um, and this is where we're gonna end the videos, guys. Thank you for watching. And as I always say, guys, keep it moving. And I'll catch you in the next one.